Hello. Hi. Good morning. How are you? Yes. Good morning. I'm fine. Thank you. How about you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. So, how is it going? Your YouTube, your English communication practice. Yeah, of course. Everything is going fine. YouTube is also doing well. So mm -hmm. yes. That's nice. So I think it's been a while, like two or three months we uh, before we had a session, right? Not, not three months exactly. I think we had a session last month in April, I guess. Oh, yes. April or maybe perhaps we had a session in the month of March. Not three months. <laughs> three months is a long time. So do you remember what all things we discussed the last time? Uh it's difficult to remember what we were discussing last time. Okay, no problem. So tell me, what would you like to talk about today? Anything specific that you would like to discuss? Maybe something for your audience? <laughs> so whatever you uh, want, like, uh, what about you? Like, uh, how about you? How do the things with you nowadays? It's good. It's pretty good. And uh, yeah, I recently traveled to Jaipur. So it was a good experience. I went to that place for the first time. I saw a lot of castles, their culture, different forts. I tried their local food. So I think it was a good experience. So do you like traveling or just uh, were you there with your friends or family? I was, I was with my friends, actually, like two of my friends. So yeah, I like traveling. I travel a lot. I basically cover three new destinations every year. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, this year I have covered Tosh in Himachal Pradesh, Manali. And uh, I recently went to Jaipur. And I'll be probably going for a trek in like after the monsoon. Like for a snow trek or something. Oh, that's great. Okay. Yeah. So, so apart that. from this, like, uh, what about your routine, Himanshu sir? Like, what do you do? Uh, like, you know, how your day looks like? So if you talk about my routine, I wake up around 7 a.m. After that, I do the rituals and then I come back, sit for a while. I probably meditate for about 25 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes. So that just clears my head. Okay. And there are no like uh, that basically declutters my mind. Like there are no thoughts or random things in my head going on. So I really like this thing. In the morning, first thing in the morning is I meditate. I drink a lots of water just to get the metabolism going on. That is really necessary. I think the first thing in the morning you should have is a tall glass of water. Okay. That fixes mm -hmm. up a lot of things. After that, I read news, not on a news in a newspaper, but probably in an application, which is there in my phone, just to see mm -hmm. what's happening in the world and everything. And after that, I start taking sessions and I do some of my content writing work. And I have my lunch around 1.30 every day. That's like a fixed timing, okay? In the evening, I get free around 5 p.m. And I hit the gym around 6. So, yeah, I work out every day. So, I spend around uh, one and a half hours at the gym. After coming back from the gym, I have boiled eggs, my protein shake. And then I read for about 40 minutes every day. These days I'm reading uh, Power of Your Subconscious Mind. I'm about to complete that book. And uh, then I just watch. I have these 20 minutes for social media in which I don't do anything, but I just watch social media like reels, call, like feeds. Oh, that's great. Only for 20 minutes in a day. 20 minutes every day. Wow. Not more than that. Okay. <laughs> it, it, it is a prescribed time. That time I don't do anything. I just watch. I just use social media. And then I have a couple of sessions at night and then I sleep around 11. Before sleeping, I listen to these affirmations. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, these affirmations which goes directly to your uh, subconscious mind. And it promotes yes. good sleep also. So I don't use my phone before sleeping. I just play something and I listen to it and then I fall asleep. So this is my... Okay, but routine. you are playing those affirmations on the phone, right? On the phone only, yes. But I'm not watching, like looking at my screen. It is there somewhere around my pillow and I'm just listening to it. Yeah, that's it. This is how okay. it works. It means you're not uh, spending time on the screen no, no, no. before going to sleep. 
there is one thing i realized if you spend your, like your time just prior to sleeping uh, if you're using reels or something the, when you wake up the next morning you will have a lot of thoughts running in your mind so i think it's better to sleep with a book i'm trying to do that but yes it is not that easy because when you use smartphone in your bed i think it doesn't promote sleep also like it you know, it like pro- the sleep is just postponed for a while so that's the reason i don't use it and i've i've seen a lot of improvement so earlier i used to carry my phone to the washroom also which is a bad thing and a lot of people do that but i have stopped doing it i have literally yeah. stopped doing it and it has you know it has given me a lot of benefits actually so earlier i used to use my phone the first thing in the morning now i use my phone half, probably after 2 hours like around 9 am so i wake up at 7 yeah exactly i use my smartphone right. at 9 so these are some small things see if you make some small changes in your routine initially you won't see anything but after a couple of days after a couple of weeks you will see some significant changes so it's really important to have these tiny changes in your routine right yeah so that's, that's what it mentioned in atomic habits <laughs> i've learned all of these things from that book only <laughs> right that's why i'm trying to okay. you know promote these things incorporate these things in my life as well so it is super yeah. uh, necessary actually because yeah, i think so- whatever you said that is exactly right even though i yeah. avoid using a uh, smartphone at late night but i do conduct sessions also late night sometimes so that's uh, another thing but most of the time if i'm waking up uh, in the morning i would mm-hmm. like to use my phone after 2 hours or mm-hmm. uh, while i eat eat i don't use phone i have seen a lot of people there i used to do that i used to do mm-hmm. that when i used to go with my friend so we used to watch cricket or like you know some clips of cricket matches while eating the food nowadays i don't enjoy while using phone while eating what so, about you do you prefer honestly, using your smartphone while you i eat? still i still do it i still do it i think that is something which is not that easy to let go of like whenever i'm eating something i need something to watch also i know it's not a good thing it is like too much stimulation for your brain you're eating also you're consuming content as well but yes this is how we have been uh, you know programmed in this modern world see now nobody watches television right like barely so you have every information in your smartphone so you don't need yes. television as such right you have this small screen you can watch anything you want you can search and you can watch it whether it's movie or whether it's a web series or anything so i am guilty of this that like i am trying to not do it but yes i still do it i watch something whenever i am having something so that is something which i do yeah but television is something like you know which was uh, happening on group basis but of course smartphone is making us more personalized only mm-hmm. just we are watching alone we don't prefer sharing uh, just you know with others but when it comes to the television you'll have to adjust you will have to watch whatever just you know they are watching so it's very it was nice it was just you know great family time is spending there but now it's not there because everybody has their own smartphone in their hand and they are busy with themselves definitely that's what i think we are missing i have also tried this social media detox okay mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. in which i just deleted instagram and facebook for like 30 days initially like the first week was pretty uh, you know arduous because i was i was just craving to use instagram my thumb was going to that place where my instagram icon was subconsciously it was happening and then i realized mm-hmm. after some time i was conscious that there is no instagram in my phone so i don't have to use mm-hmm. it i don't even have to think about it i should probably utilize that time for reading something to gain something insightful so that is something i've done now again i have downloaded it again because i went for a trip so that's why i downloaded it and again after a couple of days i uninstalled it again you should not be the slave of technology actually yeah you are absolutely right mm-hmm. yeah even absolutely. though i used to feel sometimes when we are just uh, scrolling aimlessly of course mm-hmm. we don't even care about the time like how much time we are spending on that nowadays i don't 
I spend a lot of time on uh, social media platforms like Instagram or Facebook. But what mm-hmm. I will say that YouTube analytics, YouTube studio, like it happens with me. Whenever I'm just, you know, uh, opening my screen, my hand or just, you know, my finger will go on that uh, YouTube studio. So I'll mm-hmm. be checking those analytics, even though if I don't want to. So sometimes I'm restricting myself that I shouldn't have to check again and again. Because that is something you've been checking for a while now. It has, you know, entered your subconscious analytics, mm-hmm. checking the your audience reach and everything. So that is, that is that's fine. I think that is productivity. But uh, if you just now imagine if you just scroll mindlessly, it's called like mindless mm-hmm. scrolling. You're scrolling Instagram reels. You're not learning anything, but you're still doing it. You know, it's not good for you, but you're still doing it. Why? Because you are getting dopamine from it. Mm. You're getting a, a hormone, a pleasure hormone. That is why. Yes. And we get stuck with that cycle, even though we want to come out from it. And it's, it's of course, like, you know, it's crazy. Sometimes mm. like you would, you are not liking the content. You will be criticizing the creators that, you know, which kind of uh, shorts videos they are creating. Uh, mm. Nothing valuable is there. But after that, also you will watch who is just, you know, recommending you to watch if you're not liking the content. content. So, but it happens. I felt the same. So uh, when I used to use like Facebook, I used to spend a lot of time, even though I was just hating myself that why I'm watching that and the content is not good. Then after a few days, I had installed that uh, Facebook. Mm. Then after I felt good about it and it happens actually. We will have to be conscious always. We can uh, just, you know, we can be the part of this trap anytime. Even though you are conscious enough, like as you read atomic habits, as you read like power of some conscious uh, subconscious mind, then after also, then after a few days, maybe you can be the part of this trap. So Absolutely. They are creating such in a way that the people, they are going to be the part of it. Mm. So these days I've set this alarm on my phone, like around 8 p.m. It, it rings and it says uh, reading time. So now I know that 8 p.m. is reading time. I don't have to do anything, but I have to read something. So I'm trying, I read about 40 minutes and those 40 minutes are the best, one of the best minutes of my whole, whole day, actually, because it feels like 15 minutes, actually one five, Mm. but they are 40 minutes. Uh So I'm, I'm so engrossed while reading that those 40 minutes just go away like that. So that's wonderful. So these are like small changes. Mm. And don't you like consuming a lot of uh, content on YouTube? What do you think about the YouTube? So, do you go for the yes, yes, yes. I do, I do, I do watch. Uh, so when I, when I want to learn something, I specifically like go for YouTube. There are a few YouTube channels I really love watching. The first one is the School of Life. Okay. It has literature, philosophy, cinema, everything. All the topics under the sun. I love watching that. I love watching TED Ed videos, like educational videos mm-hmm. of TED. All right. Mm-hmm. There are some... Mm-hmm. Other YouTube channels which talks about, you know, space and which talks about the earth, planet earth. So I love watching. Mm-hmm. I love to learn something new about the planet which we are in. I love to know about the history, how it happened, how it is going. So this is something like I love to, like, basically I love to learn something new every day. Whether it's a very tiny information, whether it's a very significant information, I love to read something every day and learn something that's That's good for your brain actually you can learn about your body you can learn about your body a new thing about your body how it functions how it works you can learn about the space what's out there Mm -hmm. you can learn about politics but you have to have this one new information for your brain every day so it you know it delays the aging of your brain actually yeah otherwise you'll be stagnant mm -hmm. And do you live with your family, Mansu sir, or just? Uh... I don't. I live with my friends actually. My family is in Nanita. Okay, Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand, yeah. You and know, nowadays you are in Delhi. I'm in Delhi. Yes, in Delhi it's around uh, 22. Sometimes it's 36. The temperature in Uttarakhand it's around 12 degrees. Mm-hmm. It's very cold now. These days, yeah. In the month oh. of May, in the month of May there was hailstorm. A few days ago, hailstorm. Oh you know, my. Ole? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I Happens. got it. It, it, is, it is so cold over there. 
mm-hmm. and i love that place but in uh, delhi it must be like you know it it must be raising t- uh, like in you know, a 40 or 40 plus also the temperature right must now, be going see, but due to the rain i'll tell you currently it's about 27 due to the rain only mm-hmm. yes yeah due but, to the rain as i said that in uttar pradesh also we are not experiencing that hot a uh, temperature hot. due to the mm-hmm. rain here also it was just you know hails were there so mm. that's why we I'm have not this temperature fan. i'm not using i'm not using fan right now it's not that hot so that i have mm-hmm. to use the fan it is really really cool not that cool also but yeah there is sun outside it's shining outside but it's not pouring it was pouring like cats and dogs a day before yesterday Mm-hmm. it was monday i guess yeah monday it was raining a lot so i love this kind of temperature but definitely the month of may is really scorching hot you know that right <laughs> exactly so, nowadays we are not experiencing that due to the rain only but mm-hmm. of course in april uh, also you can experience in delhi oh my goodness <laughs> delhi is really hot so delhi went up till 48 degrees last year and i was in gurgaon mm-hmm. at that time it was extremely hot you won't believe how bad it was because there was electricity shortage as well now imagine it's 48 mm-hmm. degree outside and there is no electricity how would you feel miserable right so there is no chance you can't even go out you will have to sit at your like at a place it happens mm-hmm. even though nowadays also sometimes i do experience the same electricity cut is there it's very hot at night also sometimes but i can't mm-hmm. uh, do anything right and i think at night the temperature usually falls down it it feels so good to be outside but definitely you cannot sleep mm-hmm. outside like in some cases i've seen people people sometimes sleep on their terraces as well right yeah with the mosquito no mosquito, yes. mosquito net definitely without it you cannot really yeah, survive at night but yes at night the temperatures are all cool but during daytime it is terrible you cannot really go outside but the best thing is that your water intake improves you know you drink a lot of water so that is a good mm-hmm. thing because in winters we barely drink 1 liter